Oh, um, uh, Acting Grand Sage Alhatham. I've sent this period's research expenses report to your office. Have you taken a look? Are there any issues with it? I did. Recent research expenses have decreased quite a bit compared to past figures. Yes, though that is primarily because there are fewer scholars with research needs. But that can be a rather convoluted topic. Might I ask why you are here today? I believe you know this individual. His name is Ilyas. He worked part-time here, and he's here for his paycheck. Oh, yes, of course. Though, Ilyas, where have you been these past few days? That was our busy period, but then you disappeared without a word. Everyone had to pick up the slack. I'm sorry, something unexpected came up. But I know I've caused trouble for everyone. Is there anything I can do to make up for it? The other researchers have more or less finished your share of the work. However, there is one thing that is yet to be settled. Do you remember Chandra? You were in charge of following up on his off-site research application. He retracted his application a few days ago and cancelled his off-site project. He's the twelfth person to retract a research application this month. I'd like you to ask him why he did that. Hmm, Chandra is probably having coffee at this hour, so you can find him at the cafe. Understood. Then, about my paycheck. I'll pay you in full once you return. However, make sure you don't disappear without saying anything again. Be considerate to your colleagues and give them some forewarning at least. Mm, is this acceptable, Acting Grand Sage Alhatham? I have no objections. Elias? Long time no see. What can I do for you? I heard that you cancelled your research project, so I'm just here to ask you why. Oh, that. Um, it's really nothing special. I, I just don't feel like going anymore. I'm, I'm not the only one who cancelled, right? I mean, uh, people have had no motivation to conduct research lately, haven't they? No motivation to conduct research? Yeah. Say, who might you be? You look sort of familiar. Oh, um, don't mind me. Please, continue. Well, with the downfall of the Sages not long ago, many of the projects that they led were put on hold while they were being investigated. With the situation being so volatile, people are picking up random things to do to kill time. No one wants to risk starting any new research until it's clear how things will pan out in the future. When you say, how things will pan out, you actually mean what the new Sages would have interest in, right? Wow, talk about blunt. But that isn't the only reason for the lack of motivation to start new research. So what are the other reasons? Well, because the Akasha Terminal shut down. I'm sure you're all aware that we require all kinds of knowledge to perform any of the research we do. Back then, the Akasha would respond to any of our requests for the knowledge we needed. It was beyond convenient. We didn't have to spend an extended amount of time studying, so we were able to immediately run various tests and experiments. I see. You get it, right? After having had a taste of something so amazing, who can be bothered to manually sift through data and files ever again? There are only a handful of people at the academia who are starting new projects or performing research. Most people are like me waiting for a recognized researcher to start a project before immediately applying to join. Although our names will be further down in the paper, we'll have a much easier time. We don't have to do most of the mental heavy lifting. All we have to do is focus on our assigned tasks. Elias? What's wrong? My head... It hurts! I remember now. I remember what Siraj said to me as he approached. 
You will become Siraj number 36. Fuse yourself with a consciousness under my control. Think only in accordance with a set module. Like a worker bee in a beehive. Paimon doesn't get it. What does that even mean? It's what Siraj was researching and the topic of the thesis he had submitted. Collective consciousness and the path of evolution. Siraj believed that by achieving three objectives, he could create a collective consciousness in human society and drive humans toward their ultimate evolution. First, he would rank test subjects in descending order of ability, with number one serving as the Overmind. This Overmind would then divide tasks into numerous modules and delegate them to the collective's members based on their assigned number. Lastly, members would share their memories and emotions to facilitate the rapid exchange of information within the collective. Paimon still doesn't get it. What's the point of all that? Think of it as linking many minds together and tailoring a given mind's assigned work based on its compatibility. Eventually, everyone's minds will be consolidated into a new form of existence that is both an individual and an organization. Siraj believes this collective consciousness is superior to individual humans. Whoa! Squishing a whole bunch of people together? Paimon thinks that sounds horrible! It's just as Alhatham said. Siraj gave all the test subjects different numbers. Bigger numbers meant you had a lower rank, so your assigned tasks were less complex, such as being responsible for everyone's basic needs. Smaller numbers were ranked higher, so you'd be given more complex assignments like planning for the future. Siraj referred to me as number 36, and I think that was a low-ranking number. I also recall that Siraj said his plan was proceeding very quickly, and that the Hive would soon be complete. Oh no! Then we gotta hurry! We have to stop him before it's complete! I tried my best, but that's all I can remember. I still can't recall where the cave is. I'm really sorry. Take your time. You'll eventually remember it all. However, something doesn't seem right. Some details don't add up. What's off? You were only designated as number 36? What a shame. From what I can see, your talents merit a smaller number. I'm not sure what Siraj's numbering system is based on. Anyway, we're done here. Let's go. Please, wait! I heard you all talking about Siraj just now. Are you looking for him? Huh? Do you know something? Well, Siraj is pretty popular as of late. I heard he's gained recognition from a lot of well-known researchers. Supposedly, he's a strong contender for being one of the next stages. There are many who would give up everything to be a part of his research team. I'm nothing special, though, so I doubt I'd get the opportunity. That said, I do know a researcher who received an invitation from Siraj but declined it. Her name is Janaki. If you're interested, you can try to find her. She's usually reading at the pavilion in the garden. I'm sorry, but I don't recognize you. Are you playing dumb with me? No, I'm not. I, I actually have amnesia, so I've lost a lot of my memories. And? <laughs> are you trying to say that I should forgive you just because you've forgotten what you've done? Or are you using the acting Grand Sage as backup to settle things with me? The two biggest loners teaming up. <laughs> What a terrible thought. That's enough. There seems to be a dispute between the two of you, but I have no interest in that. I heard that Siraj once invited you to join his project. Is that true? So, what if it is? Siraj did extend an invitation to me, and I was also interested in his project. I think it was about collective consciousness or something. Anyway, he said that I could be number 45. I refused, because I thought that rank was too low. 
No one wants to be placed at the bottom. <laughs> Certainly not me. Elias is number 36, and Janaki was supposed to be number 45. Ugh, just how many people did Siraj have his eyes on? Tell me, did Siraj tell you how he assigned numbers? Yeah. Remember how the sages took advantage of the Akasha and extracted Yana energy from our heads back then? They left a document that records the amount of Yana energy that the Akasha had extracted from each person. I don't know how Siraj got his hands on that document, but he used it as the basis for his numbering system. Hmm, I see. He believes that this data can be used to evaluate a person's computing power. Putting aside the validity of the data, it is meaningless to judge individuals based solely on their Nyana energy. At most, Nyana energy can only be seen as representing a portion of a person's abilities. Humans are complicated beings, so it is impossible to evaluate them using a single criterion. See? I knew I couldn't have only been ranked as 45. What else do you know about Siraj? That's it. He came to me, I refused, and that was the end of it. Is there anything else you needed? If not, I'm out of here. I've had enough of this eyesore. Please wait, I, I... I still want to know what I did in the past. You really forgot? I swear, I don't remember anything. Paimon can vouch for him. The Matra also said that he truly lost his memories. I see. You know what? It's better this way. I get angry just thinking about it, so I really don't have the patience to fill you in. All you need to know is that you got a lot of people in trouble back then, including me. That's all I have to say. Goodbye. She's gone. She doesn't seem to like you very much. Do you really not remember anything? I really don't. But after she said that, I've had this heavy feeling in my chest. I guess I did something really horrible. Do you want to remember? Huh? Even though you're a witness against Siraj in this case, you've also lost your memory. No one can force you to remember if you don't want to. Even if you manage to remember, all you would need to do is feign ignorance and tell us that you tried the best you could, but to no avail. I'm not sure what to do. Like I said before, for some reason I felt a sense of freedom when I realized I had lost my memories. But I feel like I shouldn't be allowed to go free so easily. I still want to remember everything. What should I do? I can look up your file. Something that caused trouble for a lot of people in the past must be on file somewhere. Would you like me to look into it? Yes, please. Alright, then let's return to the house of Dana. We've spent enough time here, and you should go and get your paycheck. Let's split up for now. Ilyas, you go and deal with that. The rest of you, come to the archives with me. We'll meet back here later and then head over to Gandarvaville. Okay, thank you all so much. Relax, Ilyas. Being nervous accomplishes nothing. That's true. <sighs> I'm ready. No matter what I've done, I'm ready to face it. I'll also try my best to remember anything else related to Siraj. We'll put an end to all of this. I'm holding you to that. See you later. Ah! <sighs> 
Okay. The important files from the last few years should all be here. Nothing. Anyway, I found Ilyas's file. Let's meet downstairs. What have I done? This file indicates that you were once commended by the Academia for your courage and sense of justice. You were considered a hero. Huh? Me? Yes. Your instructor was engaging in academic fraud, and you were the one who reported him. Your report was found to be true after a series of investigations, and your instructor was brought to justice by the Matra. This incident caused quite the commotion, and the Academia sent you a commendation. <laughs> what is it? Are any memories coming back to you? No, it's just... <sighs> My head feels like it's being ripped apart again. It hurts. Did I seriously do that? Then why? Let's put this matter aside for now. It isn't directly related to Siraj, so there's no need to push yourself over it. <sighs> I'm sorry. That should have been something good to hear, but my body is instinctively rejecting it. I feel like I'll black out if I try to remember. Take it slow. Recovering memories is no easy task, especially when it involves memories that you don't want to remember. Just do what you think is right. Thank you. I'm not sure how you're so calm and composed all the time, but it does make me feel more confident about the situation I'm in. Let's head to Gundarvaville and deliver Ilyas's paycheck to his sister. Come on! <laughs> We should be close. Let me think. It should be this way. Ilias, what are you doing back here? Dad, uh, it's nothing. I was just wondering how everyone was doing. You sure everything's okay? Did they bully you again? It's all right. You can tell us. <gasps> Ilyas, what's wrong? Uh, I'm fine. Just a minor headache. I haven't been getting much rest lately. <sighs> Back then, I told you not to be a hero. Look how things turned out. I can't imagine how things are going for you at the Academia. We've even been receiving threat letters. You don't have to force yourself to stay at the Academia. You can always come back home. I'm alright, I just need a little rest. Ilias doesn't seem like he wants them to know that he has amnesia. Hey, hey! That's enough, you two! Ilias isn't feeling well. You can keep nagging him once we get home. Ilyas, let's find somewhere to talk. So, how's your headache? It's much better now. <laughs> oh, here, it's this month's paycheck. How's everything at home? Same old, same old. It's just that everyone's worried about you. Don't mind their nagging. Deep down, they know that you did the right thing. It's just that after hearing a lot of bad rumors about you and seeing all the threatening letters, well, they're mom and dad. Maybe they just want you to conform a bit more. Conform? Yeah. You don't remember? After the incident, you... Ilyas? What's wrong? Ah, I see. 
I remember now. Uh, don't worry, I remember now. You're acting a little weird today, you know? Anyway, I understand your decision. But Mom, Dad, and I just want you to be happy. I don't care if you're a hero or not. I just want you to enjoy life and relax more. Your understanding is a great comfort to him. Is it? That's good. Are you a friend of his? More so these two. My name is Al Haytham, and this is the Traveler in Paimon. Oh, that rings a bell. At any rate, I feel more at ease knowing that my brother has friends. Would you like to join us for dinner? I just happened to buy some extra food. Sorry, but I still have things I need to take care of. Well, that's a shame. Okay, I'll get going then. Take care of yourself, Ilias. Don't worry. I won't do anything to make you guys worry again. You remember now? Yes, I do. Thanks for that. You know, you don't seem like such a bad person. Is that your way of conveying gratitude? Oh, my apologies. But I meant every word. Remember when I asked at the tavern if we had ever met? I said that there was a sense of familiarity, but what I really meant was a sense of loathing. Loathing? Yeah, but having spent some time with you, I realized that you're not someone I disliked to that extent. Strange, isn't it? Why did I have those thoughts at that time? My strength is that I don't care about what others think. If you could also develop this quality, then you won't be as bothered by complicated social relationships. It'd be great if I could think like you. <laughs> uh, but first things first. I remember where Siraj's cave is now. I'll take you there. Really? That's great! Uh, Paimon remembers that you said there are two things that you had to do. We've only checked off one, right? What about the other one? Are we not gonna do that first? There are more important things at hand. We have to stop Siraj before he completes his collective consciousness, or it'll be too late. You're right. Let's head out. <laughs> I think I'll start with these.